Hello, welcome to the Neo4j online training. This course is about applying graph algorithms to Yelp data. And the goal of this course is to help you understand how you can apply these algorithms with real data and be more comfortable in doing that. We'll have an introduction to several of the graph algorithms, some hands-on practice applying those algorithms to a real data set that's very well connected, and also give you a bit of experience integrating graph algorithms into an application workflow. Our assumptions during this course is that you've completed the intro to Neo4j training or have an equivalent Cypher proficiency. If you haven't, uh, you may want to go back to Graph Academy and look at some of our introductory training. We also assume that you're familiar with some basic concepts around web applications. Now you may be wondering, when should I use Cypher and when should I use graph algorithms? It's not a black and white uh, science. There's a continuum and you can use these different tools to actually complement each other. Uh, for Cypher, you're probably considering a real-time uh, a real-time analysis, some local decisions, trying to match a pattern. For the graph algorithms, it's more of a global uh, analysis and something you might be doing iterative, iteratively uh, to, uh, to get some, to understand some structure and some uh, bigger analysis of, of your complete network. Uh, for Cypher, an example is you, you would probably know what you're already looking for uh, and trying to make a decision. Do I turn right? Do I turn left? Do I, uh, do I approve something? Do I not approve something? In this example or this visualization, uh, I've got a, uh, a little fraudster network here and you can see my little fraud nodes in red. And a, an example of a Cypher query would be to understand, well, how many hops between these uh, individuals or how are they connected? And we can kind of easily see that here in this uh, small graph. In the global analysis, we're looking at a larger view of our network, as, as you might assume. And there you're trying to learn the overall structure. Maybe you're updating data to be used in other analysis, and you're trying to make some kind of prediction. You know, for example, perhaps I'm looking for disconnected components. I've got a few here, uh, one up here. Uh, and so I can kind of easily visualize this, but often with the graph algorithms and more of that, a holistic look, it's hard to see, but we're looking for things like what route might a disease take going from this side of the network, perhaps to that side of a network. So you might also be trying to un uncover uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, perhaps you have a, a network you're trying to protect and you want to know which one uh, is the vulnerable link in your, your network. Perhaps you're trying to understand influence. If I'm looking at a fraud network, where's the bridge between different um, different groups and communities of, uh, of criminal activity or just simple community finding. Which one of these communities are more tightly uh, interconnected? Which ones have more triangles or potential for triangles? So there's a lot of different types of analysis you might do uh, with the graph algorithms that are, as I've said, uh, more global. With the cipher, you're looking at uh, more local and uh, real-time pattern matching. Now, when we consider the graph algorithms, there's many machine learning and graph algorithms in the Neo4j library. Uh, we've got pathfinding in search, which is often about finding that optimal path or looking at a route uh, or looking at the quality of a route, which might be capacity as well. How much capacity do I have from A to B? Centrality uh, is really about understanding the importance of particular nodes in the network. Uh, which ones are the most important? Which ones are more connected? Uh, which ones control the flow of resources in my network. Community detection is, as it sounds, about uh, finding communities. How are things grouped together? How are they clustered together? Or how, how are they best partitioned? Where might they break apart? Similarity and machine learning workflow are put together because they're often used together. A similarity in particular is about looking at how, uh, how much alike uh, individual or groups of nodes are. And then machine learning workflow are often the uh, algorithms that help us transform graph data to be used for other machine learning tasks. If you'd like more information on these, we have some online resources. We have an ebook about graph algorithms in Neo4j. Uh, we also have an O'Reilly book that will be published in the first quarter of 2019 that will provide algorithms with uh, examples, practical examples in Apache Spark and Neo4j. If you'd like an exhaustive list of our algorithms, uh, you can also go to the neo4j.com docs. 
as you can see, there's quite a few here already uh, and always new ones being added. So that's going to always be our most up-to-date resource. This course um, will start with a quick Cypher refresher and a little bit, a few exercises to get you familiar with uh, the Yelp data itself. Um, we'll then walk through several challenges in a scenario about building a web application. We'll look at uh, category hierarchy and we'll use overlap similarity for that. Uh, we'll look at ordering search results uh, using uh, Pearson similarity for that. We'll also look at uh, the most relevant reviews, looking at personal page rank, personalized page rank. And then we'll have photos based recommendation using uh, jacquard and label propagation as well. For each one of these exercises, uh, there'll be a uh, challenge area that has, uh, we'll, we'll start with an overview of a video about the challenge itself and the algorithms used. Then you'll have some hands-on tasks and a solution. And then finally, a short quiz to help you evaluate your understanding in each section. If you need help during this course, you can go to the community.neo4j.com site and uh, post questions there or search for some results. In particular, under the general area of the community, there's a online training section. You can also go to our Slack channel at neo4j.com forward slash Slack and ask questions. And finally, of course, our documentation as well. There's a lot of um, developer uh, documentations and information you can find uh, on our docs page.